Good morning and welcome to another video guys. Okay, today we're gonna to be looking at like a sine cos and tan graphs, okay, as 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 I stated in my previous video. So we're gonna look at like the sketches of these graphs and talk a bit about each graph here as we go through actually. Okay, so graph number one, guys, okay, is actually the graph of y equals sine of x. Okay, so this is what the sine of x graph looks like okay, between zero and three sixty, okay. So it goes it goes like this actually, okay. So it actually repeats every three hundred so it will start again, okay, and 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 and, and it will actually follow the same side, um, the same shape as it was doing in this recipe. So it will go again, okay, and then it will repeat constantly, okay. So that's what it looks like actually for that one, okay. So that yeah, okay. So, so if you if a few bits of 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 information for the sine graph. So it crosses at zero zero one eighteen three sixty. Okay, so if you try and you calculate a sine of zero sine of one eighteen sine of three sixty, you will actually get an answer of zero on your calculator. If you try a sine of ninety, you'll get one. If you try a sine of two seventy, you will get that. So this was actually made by making a um, table of values actually yeah, that I actually um, derived actually from that. Okay, and it also actually repeats actually, So here, if you're interested, it will actually go down like that. If you're interested in that, okay, in what in what it looks like. So that is the graph here of y equals sine of x. Okay, so so this is for like GCSE yeah, and and A level. Okay, as uh, as I keep stating actually. Okay, so that's that's the sine graph actually. Okay, so this is so this is now the cosine. Okay, so the cosine actually starts at zero one. So if you type in cos of zero, you actually get one. Okay. So it repeats again every 360, okay? Cos of 90 is going to be 0, cos of 180 is going to be minus 1, actually, so it shouldn't be 0 there, it should be a minus 1, okay? It should be minus 1, okay, sorry about that. Okay, and then cos of 270 is going to be 0, and cos of 360 is going to be 1. So that's what the cosine graph looks like, so it repeats, okay, it repeats um, every... 360 degrees, okay, or for you like A level students, actually, yeah, um, we, we, we would say that it repeats every pi, um, two pi degrees because we treat pi as 180 degrees, yeah, in radians, okay, but that's um, but that's something that I don't want to, yeah, confusedly, yeah, like for that, actually. So, so it's every 360 or or every two pi, okay, if yeah, if it's A level maths, actually, and then similarly here, it will be every 360 or every two pi, okay. So, that's the graph of sine of x and cosine, okay. I hope that makes sense so far, guys. We're now going to look at the graph of y equals tan of x, okay. So, tan is a bit like a string, actually. So, tan graph, okay, repeats. Okay, so we, we, we can't do tan of 90, so, so tan of 90 actually goes towards the infinity. So these are what I call my asymptotes, okay? So asymptote just means that it cannot never ever reach um, that line there, so, so it can never reach. So you can never ever get an answer for tan of 90 times 270 because they actually tend towards infinity, okay? If you're interested in this, um, I might do, do like a separate video actually on, on why this is the, the case actually, but we'll not have to worry about it for this, okay? So, so, so the focus of this video, guys, here yeah, is to look at the graphs here yeah, and, and, and the sketches. So, it goes from zero, okay, essentially to almost 90, okay, so it's just essentially 89, okay, and then it repeats again actually, so, 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 so this one actually repeats every 180 degrees. 180 degrees, okay, every time, okay, or every pi, okay, every pi radians, okay, because we, we treat pi for interest here, so, so pi radians is equal to 180 degrees, okay, so again, the, 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 this is more for um, AS level students or A level students, okay, so, that will be the case. Actually. So this is what a graph of the tan function looks like. Okay, so guys, yeah. So it was like a short video today. Yeah, looking the graph. Actually, so, so I, ho I hope that made sense, guys. Okay, um, and thank you for watching my video. Also, guys, my last point is obviously I've, I've I've not mentioned actually. So I'm still doing the free giveaway actually for math stationery stuff actually. So please, please get in touch with me via social media actually. So either on Instagram or on Twitter. Okay, if you follow me on one of those actually. Okay. 
then then you, you you will get a free giveaway of stationary calculators here and scientific calculators. Okay, so if you're so if you're like a year eleven or a year thirteen student actually that is looking for extra equipment actually for their exams, then please please get in touch with me as soon as possible. Okay, I'll be looking at extending it possibly. Okay, so extension possibly. Okay, not not for definite, but extension possibly will be to the first of March. Okay, and then I might be looking potentially for like a further extension if this is, yeah, if it doesn't take off. So please, please check out my free giveaway, okay, for maths equipment and um, books and stationery, okay, on my previous video, okay. So, so offers will actually last soon, actually, okay. So, um, offers, yeah, um, it will, yeah, it will actually finish soon, guys, okay. So, it's okay. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys, and, and please do subscribe to my channel. Okay, so thank you for watching my video on the sine, cos, and tan graphs. Okay, thank you, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Bye.